Good morning, street team. Welcome back to Denny TV. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Danielle. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because y'all know that we're about to go up. So it's currently like 6 30 ish in the morning. I'm about to head out. Um, I'm about to go on a road trip and go to Atlanta. <clears throat> it's about three hours away from me, so not too bad. Um I'm bumming it like I'm about to hit the road so I just threw on like a little t-shirt it's hella wrinkled some sweatpants and put on my little jacket to keep me warm because it's been like really cool out here lately um I have a hair appointment today so we're going to get our hair done we're getting us some inches I'm getting me a little sewing in. it's sad that I had to travel all the way to Atlanta to get my hair done y'all but I'm really excited because y'all know my boyfriend lives there so It'll be fun. We're going to do like some date nights. I'm going to go stuff my face and stuff like that. So, yeah, I was looking up restaurants yesterday and I got really sad because it's two restaurants that I want to go to and they're both closed today. Like, I don't know what it is about restaurants in Atlanta, but they're closed on like Mondays and Tuesdays, especially the black owned ones. And it's super annoying but you know everybody need their rest so i'm about to head out we're about to hop in a car and go on a road trip is it just me like am i crazy let me know in the comments what y'all think like every time i leave my apartment i always close all the doors like i leave my bedroom door open but i close like all the other doors in my apartment because it's like I don't know i watched so much line order like if somebody snuck in here while i'm gone i'm going to know because i set stuff up a certain way and if it's not the way that it was when i left i know somebody was in everything that i got it was made for me i was serving them trap out the for me everybody with me gotta eat say you crazy for me that's when i try when it was if they do i'm a buffy don't reach no chain i'm about to say but it's more about respect they give me a sin they gon' die this on game ran on my check when i walk in the bank they beat me at the door by my government name i made no promise i'm never gonna change rose rose umbrella i'm hoping it rain yeah. I always have liked this song, but he was like a freaking stalker talking about can we talk for a minute. He want to know her name and he been watching her and stuff like very much stalker vibes. But this is my jam. I'm a sucker for um old school jams. I swear I'm an old soul and I really was born before my time. Like a lot of salaries down here have blueless and not like I never heard of that in St. Louis. We kind of behind the time, so yeah. I don't think they doing them. Yeah, they don't really do them like that in Chicago. hey guys so i just got done getting my hair done and i'm so excited i like my hair i'm not gonna say i like i love my hair it's so cute and for me like when i go get my hair some hair on my face for me when i go get my hair done um it's always like the stylist with me because i like to talk to people for you know this to be my first time you know booking with her she was so nice like so professional helpful like she gave me knowledge about my real hair um and then she was like you know if you have any questions you know after you leave i know you don't live here but you know text me and stuff like she was so nice so i would highly recommend her um i'm gonna put her information in the description bar but don't be going trying to book with my new stylist because when i need an appointment i'm gonna need my appointment now i'm just playing but wishing like so much abundance on her business because she was so nice and so professional and the experience was everything so the curls for the girls is very much giving um it's very much giving so <clears throat> so i excited that i love my hair because it's always scary when you go to a new stylist like you don't know if they gonna cancel on you you don't know if they gonna jack your head up you just don't know so i am so happy that my experience was pleasant lord i'm gonna have to drive three hours to get my hair done y'all but baby it's well worth it okay because one thing about nanny tv we're gonna keep the head dead but anyway i'm starving y'all the girls in the shop told me about a place called victory so i might try them out um i'm not really sure um i'm thinking about seaside too i'm debating but as of right now 
I need to give me something to eat and I'm by that fire chicken. It's a jerk restaurant out here and I'm going to stop by there and get like some takeout or whatever and see if they have some banana pudding because they have the best banana pudding. And I think I'm going to do that. I do want to get my nails done kind of sort of, but <clears throat> maybe I'll do that tomorrow because I did bring my press ons and Oh, excuse me and I could put my press ons on but I feel like being pampered um I'm having like me and Eric are doing like date night tonight so we got some things coming and I plan on being out in the city as far as tomorrow so as of right now let's go get something to eat because your girl is hungry I'm so hungry, y'all. I could eat a whole sanitize these hands, baby. Because I got to. I got to eat a piece of this food now. Like. I was so excited to come here because I was thinking about like food all day. Ooh, and it's hot. I can the steam. The steam, y'all. It's hot. The steam is coming out the bag. Woo! I've been thinking about like the food all day. That's like one of the reasons I was so excited to come here. And all the food places that I wanted to go to are closed today. Like I don't know why Atlanta does that, but Oh, uh, she did give me a fork. I was like, I thought I saw her put a fork in the bag. A lot of their places are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, which is stupid to me. So tomorrow, I have to like get up early and start my day with the food places that I want to eat at. Let me show y'all this food real quick. These wings, woo, they look bomb. The fries, yes, yes, yes. Somebody is about to get into a freaking car accident. This food looks so good and it smells so good. It's lit. It's a go. What her be saying? It's a go. Let me say my verse. Hmm. And they got cheese on the fries. Mm. Let me add some jerk sauce. Yeah, so I'm going to get up early tomorrow and start my day. I'm going to brunch at 9, and I'm going to toast. I kind of wanted to go to Rock South, but they don't open until 12. And I'm not waiting until 12 to get my day started. Mm, 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 mm. If y'all come to Atlanta, <coughs> I should have got me something to drink. Y'all got to go there. I was so sad because apparently the lady don't come in here with her banana puddings, but them banana puddings would be on point. Man. Ah! It's like the worst when you bashing some food <laughs> and then you spill it on yourself. I didn't spill it all on my pants. It didn't got on the shacket. Okay, y'all, let me um eat my food. Hey, street team, it is later in the day. So I'm about to go to this magazine release party. I feel like I have on like, I'm going with a simple black look. My booties, pants, little turtleneck, and then the puffer. I'm so excited because I finally have the chance to wear this puffer vest. By the way, the lighting is horrible. I do apologize. It's very bad, but I'm excited to wear my puffer. I wanted to wear my leather shorts that I had showed y'all a while ago, but it's cold outside. So hopefully it warms up tomorrow because I think I'm going to wear them. And yeah, so I will catch up with y'all once I get to the event. I'm going to try to get more content and I'll see y'all later. Without these young ladies, 
that's around, you know, these dope bosses, none of this would be happening. So um, I'm just honored, man. Like, I'm a big fan of everybody in this room. That's my relationship to everybody here. Everybody knows that, you know. Um, so let's get to this thing right here. I think we did a great job. Tell me what y'all think about this. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, okay, lavender. Yeah. Yeah. The dream is real. Yeah. Yeah. Hey y'all, so I just left the event and it was pretty cool. I'm so like happy for Q and the team, like the rest of the team. Um, I met him in like October and he was like one of the first people actually in Atlanta to take me serious as far as my dreams. And I'm just happy, you know, that his dreams are coming true. Like he has his own photography studio, like people can come up here and do interviews, you know, photo shoots, whatever the case may be. And it's just so dope, you know, just seeing um, people accomplishing their dreams. Like I just been thinking lately, I want to be around people that are doing something with themselves, people that are of substance, people that are determined, you know, to make their dreams come true you know like that is the type of stuff that i'm on these days but i'm so happy for him like the studio is so nice i'm definitely going to have to come up here one day and do a photo shoot because i need like more pictures and more headshots so i'm about to head back to um eric's house having like date night so that'll be fun so i will catch back up with y'all later <laughs> Date night was an epic fail when eating at high-end restaurants go wrong. Um, how was your experience? Like, <laughs> no. I bet the best thing was the um the water. Spring water. The water, and literally. The water, the water, I think the water was nine dollars. The water was nine dollars. <laughs> Basically they what's going on? Are they racing? Basically they said if you broke, just say that. <laughs> no, I was cracking a joke. No, when I say y'all, that food was literally so disgusting. The steak was burnt, okay? I didn't understand how the girl said that that was for three people. How was three people gonna eat that? That's first of all. The mashed potatoes look like they came out of a bucket of <laughs> mop water. <laughs> like, when I say, child, please, like, no. I wonder can we park right here? No, because you know, remember we used to park right there, but they didn't put them things up. You know the food was not good if we um pulling up in another place to get us something to eat. Child, never again. But we're at this place called Sweet and Fresh. Me and Eric go here every time I come to Atlanta. How did we discover them? Do you remember? Because they open to like three. Yeah, they open to like three o'clock. And they have smoothies, lemonade, like literally everything. And it's so good. Honey, lemon, pepper, wings. Yeah. No, but you know what? Remember the last time we came in here and they had to remake my smoothie? Yeah, because you picked the wrong one. And you lied to her and said, I said this when you didn't say that. You just lied. I did not <laughs> lie to her. Stay finessing. Whatever. He always making up stuff. I definitely did not lie. It's wicked out here, y'all. Sweet and fresh clothes. What's they open? What do you eat late at night out here? Mm. Mickey D's. I'm not eating no McDonald's. Bro. That's we at the pits if we eat McDonald's. Fuck on me. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> At least we together, right? <laughs> Ooh, we 
we just bought some designer shoes for dinner that was nasty. <laughs> Ooh, everything is closed. This waffle is literally house. a. I'm not eating waffle house. This is an epic fail. Taco Bell, Wendy's. Literally an epic fail. I got us tomorrow for real. Like, for real, the place we going to tomorrow is going to knock you off your feet. <laughs> okay, y'all. We are at cookout. What you getting? Mm -hmm. They apparently have burgers, corn dogs, chicken strips, wraps. Eric said they have good shakes. I don't believe nothing he said because he don't have... <laughs> He don't have good food judgment at all. Yeah, he, you do. I do have good food judgment. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Your shit be hit or miss. Bro, I keep telling you the same thing. Like, my stuff don't be hit or miss. This time, yes, the food was a miss. But usually, my stuff... The last three, four times it's been a mess. What, what, what did we eat before this that you was nasty? You can't even remember. I'm asking you why you since you remember. know. <laughs> you can't remember. That's how bad it was. Where, where did we eat at since you know so much? Mm -hmm. What did you eat that was nasty that I picked? The last three times. What was the last three times? Last where time did I we go? You, I was like, bro, you have not been on your stuff picking up this. Where did we go? What did you eat? He don't, don't know because he making it was nasty. What what was it? I he don't, don't know because he making up stuff. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, so I just got up and got dressed. One thing about getting curls is that they always fall. I don't know why I decided to just get curls yesterday. I do know why. I decided to get curls yesterday because I'm always wearing my hair straight. But I knew that they were going to fall. I can't wait to get back home to my curler and throw some little wine curls in there. But this is going to have to do. So I'm about to get up and get my day started. You know, I told y'all that I was getting up at 9 o'clock. I did not get up at 9 o'clock. I got up around like 10. Um, I'm about to go to Toast on Linux. I'm really debating if I want to go to Toast on Linux or Rock. But I think I'm going to go to Toast on Linux and get some food. And I'm going to show y'all the food because their food is really good. I just looked up the claws again and I can't find tickets to buy. So I'm not doing that today. But I'm still going to go get my nails done. I'm going to get like dip on my nails because I grew my nails out. Even though they always break, I like grew them out. So I'm going to do that. And then later, um, I'm going to go to the movies. I found this really cool, like, movie theater that I want to go to. I'm debating if I want to see Batman, Spider-Man, or the movie that just came out with the guy from Taken. It's like a little action movie, and it looks really, really good. So, yeah, that's what we have planned for today. So, yeah, let's hop in the car, and we are about to go to Toast on Linux. Over time and overdue. Okay, y'all, so I decided to come to Rock. Cheers. I'm sitting at the bar, and I can't wait till this food come out, because when I say I'm about to bash, I'm literally about to bash, but I'm about to get off of her because they playing music, and know that I cannot get copyrighted. Ooh. 